Good day, students. Welcome to Math Good Served. In this clip, we're going to be going over problem number four in part one of our limits series on AP Calculus ABBC. Problem four corresponds to question 23 of the 2008 AP Calculus multiple choice release test item. Let's go ahead and take a look at the problem. It says a graph of the even function y equals f of x consists of four line segments as shown above. So we have the graph right here. Which of the following statements about f is false? Okay, so um, before we start, there are some things we want to note um, based on the appearance of this graph. If you take a look at this graph, you will notice that there are three corners, okay? You have a corner at negative three, you have a corner at zero, and a corner at uh, three. Okay, so what does that mean? Let's note something real quick. Um, if a function is continuous at a corner, then the limit exists, okay? So this is a continuous function, the limit exists at corners as long as the function is continuous at the corner okay and then another thing you want to note is that um f prime of x um does not exist at corners okay um f prime of x dne does not exist at corners because the left and the right hand derivatives are different all right, another thing you want to note is that um, we have an even function here, okay? So if a function is even, what does that mean? If a function is even, that implies that f of x, um, f of negative x, sorry, f of negative x is equal to negative f of, is equal to f of x, okay? So this is what it means for a function to be even. Another formula that you want to call to mind is the limit definition of a derivative. There are um, different form, uh, limit um, expressions of a derivative, but the one that's applicable to this problem is if you have the limit, uh, if you want to find the limit at, let's say, a point A, x equals A, f prime of A can be expressed as the limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a. All right, so all these points you want to keep in mind on while we're solving this problem. Okay, let's start with part a. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically go through every single option just to show you which one is false and which is true. Even though we might know what the answer is, I'll just go over everything just to help you review, okay? So for the first one, um, we're finding the limit of the difference of functions. So we can go ahead and take the limit of the individual functions. So this can be written as the limit as x approaches zero of f of x minus the limit as x approaches zero of f of zero. Okay, so what is the limit as x approaches zero um, of f of x? We have a corner there. Does the limit exist at a corner? That as long, if the function is continuous at the corner, the limit exists. Okay, and in this case, the limit as x approaches zero from both sides, the y value you're approaching is zero. Okay, so this expression here is zero. Now, f of 0 is 0. The limit as x approaches 0 of 0 is also 0. 0 minus 0, 0. Option A is true. Okay. Now, let's take a look at option B. Limit as x approaches 0 of f of x minus f of 0 divided by x. Now, what does this look like? 
this is the derivative. This is the limit definition of a derivative at a point. So in this, in option B, we are basically looking for f prime of what? f prime of zero. What is the slope or the instantaneous rate of change or the slope of the tangent line at x equals zero? Now at x equals zero, what do we have? We have a corner. So what's the derivative at a corner? The derivative does not exist at corner. So f prime of zero does not exist. But in option B, it says it's equal to zero. So this is false. This is false. Okay, so our answer is option letter B. Okay. Now, um, let's do the rest. Let me just show you how to do the rest, even though we already have the answer. Okay, so option C, let's see here. We're looking for the limit as X approaches zero of f of x. Now let's wait for a second. f of negative x. Since this is an even function, f of negative x is also the same thing as f of x. Okay, so we can apply the even nature of this graph to express this function in this format over 2x. This equals limit as x approaches 0. In the numerator, we have 0, f of x minus f of x is 0 over 2x. 0 over 2x, we have the limit as x approaches 0 of 0. Final answer, 0. Option C is correct, as expected. Now let's take a look at option letter D. Now what is this? This is the limit definition of a function, right? You're looking for the derivative at x equals what? x equals 2. Okay, f of a, a is 2 here. Okay, so f prime of 2. So let's consult the graph. At x equals 2, where are we? We are right here. We're on this line. Since we have a straight line, what does that mean about the derivative? If you have a straight line, the derivative is constant. So we can just pick any two points on this line and compute the slope using rise over run. And that will tell us what the derivative is. All right. So we're going to use rise over run. So if we start from the origin all the way to 3, 3, we rise 3 and run 3. 3 over 3 is 1. That is your slope. Okay. That's a derivative at x equals 2. So as we can clearly see, option D is correct also. Now let's shift gears and take a look at option E. Well, what is this? This is also the derivative, right? Is the derivative at x equals a is 3 here. So we're looking for f prime of 3. So let's consult our graph again. What is the derivative at x equals 3? Oh, wait, we have a corner here. And what do we know about derivatives at corners? The derivative does not exist at corners, so f prime of 3 does not exist. Okay? All right, now um, we can see that option E is also correct. So the only false statement is option letter 